Write a C++ program to design a class geometry containing two methods. First one, area for finding the area of a square. Second, volume for finding the volume of a cuboid. And also we have to overload the area method for finding the area of a rectangle. So in this program, we are discussing the concept of method or function overloading. When two or more functions are having the same name but different parameters, then we can say that is an example for function or method overloading. The difference in parameters should be in the number of arguments or having different types of arguments. So in this program, first we created a class which is named as geometry. In the public sections, we have written the first method the name of the method is area. It takes an integer parameter and returns an integer result which is used to calculate the area of a square. So area of square is x into x. Next to find the volume of a cuboid, the cuboid will be having the value of x, y and z. which is the length of two sides and the height of the cuboid. We will return the volume of cuboid as x into y into z. Now we, we are performing the method overloading, method or function overloading wherein which we are rewriting the same function. Function name is same, area. The difference should be in parameters. So either the number of parameters or the data type of the parameter must be different. So here the number of parameters are different. The first area method takes only one integer parameter. The second area method, which is used to find the area of a rectangle, takes two parameter, the length and breadth of the rectangle. It calculates the area as x into y. Now when we are writing a method overloading, there must be changes in the parameters. The changes should be number of arguments or different types of arguments. Having the same name as the functions and parameters, only make the changes in the return type is not considered as a method overloading in C++. Now to find the area of a square. By using a scene statement, we accept the value of side. We have created an object for geometry class as obj. obj is the object of geometry class. We calculate the area of a square by calling the method area. Here only one value is passed which is the side of the square. So it will call the area method which takes only one single parameter. There are two area method in the class. So it will call the area method that takes a single parameter. Now to find the volume of a cuboid, we are taking the value of length, breadth and height of the cuboid. Now in order to find the volume of a cuboid, we are taking the value of length, breadth and height of the cuboid by using scene statement.
The volume of the cuboid can be calculated by calling the method volume. It takes three parameters, so we pass the value L, B, and H. The volume method can be called by using the same object of the geometry class. The object is OBJ. So we call as OBJ dot volume and pass the value L, B and H. The volume method totally takes three parameters as x, y, and z, and it re returns the result as the multiplication of x, y, and z, which is the volume of the cuboid. Now next, in order to find the area of a rectangle, we take the value of length and breadth from the user by using scene statement. So we accept the value of length and breadth. And we call the method area in order to calculate the area of the rectangle as obj dot area. Area is a method. Here we are passing two parameters L and B. So this method obj dot area of L comma B will call the second area method because the second area method takes two parameters as x and y and it returns the area of rectangle as x into y. So in this program, in the class geometry, there are two methods which is named as area. The first method area takes a single integer parameter and the second area method takes two integer parameters. So it is an example for method overloading. Execute and see the program. Method overloading is generally an example for compile time polymorphism as it will know which method will get called during the compile time itself. So during the compilation time itself, we know that obj.area or side will call the first area method because it is having only one parameter. The second time, the compiler knows that it is going to call the second area method because there are two parameters are passed as L and B.